So folks, today I'm gonna bring you five tips and I guarantee that these are gonna make you a better player. They're gonna allow you to achieve higher ranks. And today we're gonna forget about the weapons, the loadout and even the map. Because today we're gonna be looking at the essentials of the FPS games. And I have the feeling that these are somewhat overlooked. They are considered as like, you know, default skills. But it feels like that in reality, most of the players don't put enough attention practicing these things. And because of that, it doesn't really matter what type of loadout you have. You head into the game and you lose everything. And just to make this legit guys, I want you to know that I'm not legend. I'm on my way to ace and I feel like that if I had more time to play, I could actually reach ace, but I'm also still practicing the things that I'm gonna share, okay? So it's not that I'm the master and I'm looking down at all of you telling you what to do. It's also part of my journey to become a better player. We need to start with controls. And the reason for that is that you need to understand that if you are playing with two fingers, sorry, you are setting yourself a skill cap. You will never ever be as good as the players who are playing with three fingers or four fingers on a decent phone because it's just physically impossible to be as good with two fingers. So if you are playing with two fingers, then please, while watching this video, try to switch your mindset. At one point, you will want to switch to four fingers. And let me explain why. So I said four fingers, and the reason why I said that is because we need to do four things simultaneously or at the same time, sometimes even more. So let's just very quickly go through it because I don't want to make this a controls guide or such, but still to explain, you need one finger to move like run and left, right and so on. You need another finger to look around and aim. That's already two. And if you are limited to two, then you cannot do anything else on top. You need one additional finger for zooming and such. Oops, I cannot zoom because I don't have any weapon. Let me fix that. So we are back. You're gonna need a third finger to zoom and to peek because we just need that. And you need to do everything at the same time. You, you must be able to move and also to aim and then to peek. And then on top, you're gonna need a fourth one to shoot like this while you are peeking, while you are moving, while you are aiming. Everything happens at the same time. And I didn't even mention that you need to jump, you need to crouch, you need to uh, select your weapon, you need to select uh, your grenade, your med kit. Sometimes you need to sneak and all kind of stuff. So we definitely need the four fingers. I can personally validate that switching controls and messing up with the buttons can have a high impact in your ranks uh, because I have been switching from my iPad back to the phone and I have never ever played FPS games from a phone never it's the first time but and i needed like three weeks or even four weeks to get used to it because it's different but it's doable it's doable so go for it four fingers okay let's finally focus on the tips that are going to make you a better player tip number one is stay invisible learn to stay invisible learn to peek learn to sneak so what do i mean by that you need to learn how to play sneaky if needed not all the time but if needed you need to be able to hide you need to be able to stay invisible you need to be able to peek like just to check your surroundings and then sneak that's essential for this game because without that you're gonna get spotted and then it means that most likely you are going to be hunted down and we don't like that so start practicing peeking peeking and aiming sneaking crouching Speaking while crouching and all that stuff. A good practice for this would be that you head into farm and you intentionally don't attack people. You just sneak around, you just peek, you just check where the enemies are, you don't attack them, and then you pick up some loot and then you extract. And if you do that without being spotted, then you have a better chance doing the same during a real combat where it actually matters if they find you or not. Tip number two I think is a bit underrated, but you need to learn how to manage your weapons, your magazines and ammunition, and you always need to be sure that you have enough bullets in your primary weapon. And in case you get into a gunfight and you 
waste all your ammunition what to do then do you have a backup plan do you have a secondary weapon there are a bunch of things you can do for example if you have a full magazine with 30 bullets in your primary weapon then be sure to have at least one spare magazine in your rig or a secondary weapon and be prepared to switch to that secondary weapon in case needed in case you get into a fight and you use the bullets from your primary weapon and the reason i'm highlighting these is because it really sucks if you get into a combat and then you realize that your magazine is not full and you run out of ammunition. Or if you fire all of the bullets, but you cannot reload because your second magazine is in your backpack and not in your rig. Or you have a second gun, but you forget about it. And instead switching to that, you just die because you try to reload, then you can blah, blah, blah. So always be mindful of what guns you have. Are those equipped? Do you have spare magazines? how much ammunition is remaining. Try to keep all of that in your head. It's definitely gonna help you to survive. And this also applies if you are changing guns during the game. If you pick up something, then make sure that you're also picking up some magazines or bullets for that specific weapon. Because in Arena Breakout, it can easily happen that you just simply run out of ammunition and you die because of that. Topic number three is, let's say, action, combat, getting into the combat being prepared for that combat basically running jumping zooming shooting without getting blocked without just staying there without just crouching there in the corner you have to practice that i know this is hard because you fully need to get used to your controls but you just simply need to practice that sequence so a sequence could be something like opening a door throwing a grenade no no picking the grenade or selecting the grenade then removing the pin and then wait and then throw the grenade and then if you throw the grenade you start running in and while you run in you jump and in the air you already aim and then zoom and then you start shooting it's a long sequence i know but you can actually learn that and the only way to learn it is by practicing it so if you never try you will never learn it and you cannot learn it without failing so out of 10 times i think you're gonna fail nine times or eight times and then you're gonna get better and better and better and more confident and then at the end out of 10 times you're gonna make it perfectly nine times so this is definitely gonna help you with combats in general and not just close range combat so even if you are with a sniper sometimes you need to crouch you need to lean out you need to lean back you need to move to a different position maybe you need to jump over an obstacle then maybe you need a mat kit because you're being shot and all of that needs to be done uh, very quickly after each other and there is no space for mistapping or doing something where you lose time. Number four may sound a bit weird but you need to learn how to escape, how to find something that can protect you, how to heal yourself, what should be the order, should you do like med kits first or broken limbs and such. It really depends on the situation but if you have to run for any reason you are outnumbered then you need to know where are your escape paths. You're not gonna have time to decide if you are being attacked. So always try to keep in mind that if you are being shot what's the nearest point, escape point, a wall, a room or something where you can hide and start healing yourself. Also don't forget to take painkillers otherwise you're not going to be able to run if you see an enemy in front of you then try to run like sidewards because if you are staying in line then you're an easy target so all these things together are going to help you to escape from a fight if you are outnumbered or if the enemy is stronger or if you are wounded and so on regarding the healing i can share what i'm usually doing but it's, it's up to you but if i'm being wounded the game offers always to start healing my broken limbs i'm not doing that i'm usually first using a med kit to increase my hp and if i'm done with that then i'm trying to find a safe place where i can fix my broken limbs the fifth and the final tip that is going to make you a better player in arena breakout is learn how to use your grenades because grenades are super strong grenades are unfair grenades should be nerfed grenades are annoying so you definitely need to learn how to use them so actually this is easy to practice all you want to do that instead of your default two grenades or three eventually four just put grenades into your rig take like 15 of them and then head into farm or valley 
and try to kill some bots. Eventually players try to aim at windows, doors. Obviously if you don't want to spend money and hop onto the training ground and start throwing your grenades by like selecting targets and then try to hit those targets. And also practice removing the pin, waiting for a couple of seconds and then throwing it because if you do that during combat then the enemies have literally no time to escape your grenade. And if you are done practicing all of these then you can start combining them. Then you go into the game, start sneaking, peeking, maybe throwing some grenades, maybe you're getting shot, you need to escape, you need to heal yourself and you are going to do this with ease because you've been practicing it. After healing yourself, you're gonna just take your weapon, do some nice actions, jumping, zooming, flying, everything and you're gonna stay alive and that's the purpose of the game. It's actually not looting, it's actually staying alive. The game is not simply about looting and this is an important topic. I'm thinking of recording something in this topic because I think the way you approach the game makes you play the game differently. So if you're going for the loot, then you are like blinded and just running to the saves and you are kind of disregarding the players. I don't wanna spoiler it, that's a topic for another video. But for this one, I hope I could give you some nice tips. Uh, leave me comments, give me feedback of what do you think. Are you applying these? Are you an expert in all of them? Are these bullshit? Or, you know, any feedback is welcome. Ultimately, my goal with this video was to make you a better player. So if I achieve that, I'm gonna be happy. Anyways, guys, as always, happy gaming. Enjoy the day. Enjoy Arena Breakout. And see you next time. Shady out. Bye.